Hi, I'm Eric Lee. I'm an applications engineer from Texas Instrument. Today, I would like to demonstrate how to configure single-phase LM5122 evaluation board to dual-phase operation. LM5122 is capable of dual-phase operation without any external clock. Also, LM5122 evaluation board is designed to be easily configured for a slave mode operation. Let's take a look at how to make this happen. At first, we definitely need two single phase boost converter and to configure single output dual phase boost converter, we may need additional flat cable wire. In dual phase configuration, one board should be configured as a master board and the other board should be configured as a slave. On the master board, R24, R31 should be removed, but fortunately, the default configuration of RM5122 evaluation board is a master mode. For the slave mode configuration, feedback pin should be tied to VCC, and the components related with output voltage feedback and loop compensation should be removed. In addition with this, the sync out pin from the master board should be connected to the sync in on the slave board. J2 connector is reserved to connect the common signals across the board. Moving to the bench, here I have two stacked one-phase evaluation board. I removed the component related with feedback and loop compensation in advance. The common signals are connected through the flat cable wire. Input cable and output cables are connected in advance. I'm going to monitor two switching node using oscilloscope. I'm gonna apply 10 volt. As we expected, the converter works well and we can see there is 180 degree phase shift between channels without any external clocks. That's about it. For more information about RM5122 configuration, please go to ti.com slash RM5122 or ti.com slash widevin. Thank you for watching.